We mentioned we were tracking breaking news this morning as a massive overnight manhunt in Spokane is now over. Thank you for watching up with Cram with us this morning. I'm Joshua Robinson and I'm Dana Marie McNichol. Now police have had areas near Liberty Park blocked off for hours, but again, that's now open. Officers just updated us in the last 15 minutes. Our Brandon T. Jones is there with the latest. Hey, so right now I'm actually standing in a Perry District neighborhood that was completely shut down this morning during the massive manhunt that took place. I just had an opportunity to speak with neighbors here in the area. So we have a lady right now joining us. Her name is Melody. She's a neighbor here. She says it's usually pretty quiet. So Melody, you were telling us uh, about what was going on. You said you didn't see what was happening, but you could just hear the sounds and all of the chaos taking place. So yeah, about three o'clock this morning, you could hear helicopters and a bunch of traffic and then we got a message on our telephone saying, hey, stay inside. We have a armed suspect in your neighborhood. Um, keep inside and stay low. And that, you know, I've been awake since about that time trying to figure out what was going on. Kind of scared that yeah. somebody was going to break into the house yeah. or. Yeah, and so what you were telling me, you saw that notification and it's normally a pretty quiet area. Oh, yeah, of the it's town. a really quiet neighborhood at, um, after dark and hardly any traffic. Nobody walks up and down the street. There's nothing going on in the area at all. Real quiet. Yeah, so you're basically just trying to do your best to stay away from the whole situation, right? And you said you were locking your doors, just trying to keep an eye out for what was going on, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, And then my kids go to work and come home early in the mornings, and I was kind of worried about them leaving the house and coming in this morning. Yeah, and you were saying they were able to get out and, you know, do what they had to do, though, yeah. right? Okay. Well, I appreciate you, Melanie, just for taking some time to, you know, talk to us about the situation. But, yeah, Joshua, Dana, Marie, it really was just quite a chaotic situation. Probably one of the largest police perimeters I've seen set up here in Spokane in my time living here. But the situation is no longer a threat to the public. They have located the man who was found deceased, and they're investigating it as a self-inflicted gunshot wound.